Hey everybody, Deborah Korn here at D School Phoenix with Chris Echevarria from Page Wide Industrial, correct? That's so a correct. new name. So actually before we go into it, let's start off with the new name. Okay. What that covers and then let's talk a little bit about of uh, the, the launch from Hunkler and here and all the other cool information that's going on with the inkjet peeps. Okay, so uh, hi everyone. Uh, as Deb said, I'm uh, Chris Echevarria. So the page wide, to address that, the page wide industrial name now encompasses not only page wide web press products, but we also have the Cytex family. So when you think of us as far as uh, packaging and corrugated, we've got all of that under one umbrella with uh, under the direction and uh, jurisdiction of Eric Wiesner, our general manager. So. We just came back from Hunker Innovation Days. Great uh, opportunity to showcase our technology. Uh, we had a T240HD, so HD standing for the High Definition Nozzle Tech Tar Architecture. Um, you can see behind me on the wall here, we're actually talking about now the T235HD, okay. which is a lower cost option for people who want to come into uh, the space, if you will. Um, so high definition, what does that offer? That means that you're going to get the quality, the productivity from uh, you know, the technology that uh, HP offers. And uh, I actually have some really great samples that we did. So this is our wow, Adventure Magazine. Beautiful. That's um, actually primed as well. So this is one of the opportunities. The value proposition that we offer at HP is that we offer you the different options to have quality, whether it's quality mode or productivity, whatever your customer needs, as well as then um, the economics that go with that. So less ink, less cost. Um, so some of the other things, like I said, when we talk about quality, we have these beautiful red images. We call this our, our uh, lady in red with braids, right. and you can see some of the gorgeous red that is. Uh, it really is. Well. I mean, it's really hard to see these on video camera, just so you know. But yeah. I'm assuming uh, people can get in touch and get samples. Oh, from always, like I yeah. said, either through the account managers or even you know reaching out and uh, finding me on uh, LinkedIn, and I'll be happy to, to go ahead and send it or through you, Deb. So. so, oh, that's true. I could I could certainly direct them to it. So let's. Just, uh, let's just talk about the HDNA for a second. Okay. Um, what does, what exactly, I see all these little ink cartridges over there. Is that kind of what it's based on? So our technology is scalable. So what you see here is actually the longest, it's a print bar that shows the longest length of uh, inkjet heads that you can uh, chain together, if you will. So this is the 110 oh. inch, which we have for our packaging. Oh, options. wait a second. That's like one print thing. Yes, exactly. Wow, so, that's, I had no idea. So what we were able to do is if, if a print, uh, if the inkjet head goes out, then you just replace it. And it's operator uh, replaceable. You don't need a service technician. Right. To do I that, actually so. did it with one hand at Hunkler while holding a video camera recording myself there doing it. There you go. So yeah. that's that's one of those, um, you know, benefits, if you will. Completely. Um, so the HDNA is where you're going to have the redundancy. So instead of having the number of heads that we had originally in our uh, first generation heads, now we have double that. So I, you know, like I said, you're going to have the redundancy that needs to take care of anything that, if there's any jet outs or anything like that. Right. So, so just really quickly, why should any printer out there and which printers, uh, quite frankly, yeah. should be looking, why should they care about Inkjet and why should they be looking at it for the future? So Inkjet offers a lot of options for people to round, uh, so not only are you the digital side, so the variability, the personalization, those types of options that you can do in the digital platform. But now, because you're in an aqueous uh, base type platform, you've got the lower cost. You don't have the, the higher cost inks and, and toners, if you will. So, um, And it just allows you to have a lot more flexibility. As as I mentioned, you could have the economics because you're doing an aqueous space, and then you also have all of the, um, you know, the different levers, as we say. You've got the media options. We offer priming. Uh, wanted to have a primer in the front end of our products, so if you want to use your offset coated papers, you can. And like I said, that's a lower cost option. Or if you want to go with the higher quality, like the, the samples I showed, some of those papers are, you know, they're a bit more pricey. But it depends on what your applications right. need to be. And which printers are the right kind of targets for you? So, you know, we look at our market segments in a lot of different ways. So specifically, we've got publishing. So if you're thinking of books, um, also catalogs, magazines, uh, we've got that option. But we also have for transactional through our partner, Pitney Bowes. And then also the GCP, which general commercial printers. General commercial printers, which have the option to do variable, again, as I mentioned, variable and personalization and, and regionalization, whatever they need to do for their customers. So. so thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. And what is the website, the HP website, HP uh, go, HP.com go, 
in WebPress? Is it still WebPress? It's still WebPress. I mean, okay, you know what? Get in touch with us and we'll find out because they just had a name change. Yeah, because we did have a name yeah, change. I literally sure. like a few days ago. So, uh, okay, thank you so much for Thanks. your time. I really appreciate it. You've been Thanks, awesome. Deb. Thanks, Deb. Appreciate it.